In this video, we're going to learn how to create user roles in Voice Console. These instructions will also be applicable to Voice Link. The first thing that you need in order to create user roles is your own user logon account that has administrative rights to do so. Once you log in, go to the Administration tab, and then in the left-hand menu under Administration, select Roles. Once Roles has been selected, you'll see that the Roles Actions menu populates. One thing to note is that whenever Voice Console or Voice Link are installed, there are only two default roles, Administrator and Read Only. You can create as many new roles as you need. To create a new role, you simply click on Create New Role under Role Actions. On the Create Role page, you will need to give a name to your new role, provide a description if you wish one, and then select the features from the list below for what you want that role to be able to do. For this demonstration, let's create a new role called Supervisor. Most supervisors for voice will need to have access to manage devices, operators, and task packages but there are some things that you most likely don't want them to be able to do, such as change overall system settings for Voice Console, or to delete some things out of Voice Console. Under the features, they're grouped under subheadings. If you select the box at the top level of a subheading, you will select every option underneath of it. This can be especially useful for a subheading like device management that has many options. By selecting all of the options, you can more easily go in and remove just those ones that you don't want a role to use. Starting up here for Voice Console View and Manage Voice Console Data, our supervisor is not going to need to change the overall configuration of EAP if it's used for Voice Console, so we're going to remove that. Under Device Management, almost all of these actions will be required for a supervisor. Some of them, though, we might not want to have happen. Deleting device groups is one of them. Deleting device logs is another. Deleting voices. Deleting device profiles. Deleting the voice clients. And I believe that should be good. Under operator management, a supervisor should be able to manage their operators in almost all ways, but again, we may not want them to be able to do certain deletions. Now, deleting operators, they should be able to do, because if someone leaves, you obviously do not want to have them still in your Voice Console instance. Deleting operator teams might be something that you don't want to have done. Deleting task packages is probably something else that's not a good idea and deleting tasks. For software load management, this one is actually very important for a supervisor role. This is what lets them load an operator, a task package, or voices to devices while they are in a sleeping state or on the charger. For application summaries, this is simply so that they can see if there are any critical notifications and to see the update summary on the home page something that most supervisors are going to want to be able to do. Under Application Administration, we get into more of the responsibilities that maybe are going to be handled by most customers' IT department or a single uh, supervisor who is in charge of the overall management of Voice Console. In this case, though, we're going to say for this general supervisor role that they should be able to view sites they should be able to apply licenses and import licenses. But we don't really want them to be able to create sites, delete sites, or edit them, um, and these other items not necessarily needed for this supervisor role that we are creating. Under user management, you must be very careful here what you give to a user role because this is what allows you to be able to actually create, edit, and delete the roles that we are working on right here. 
So for your supervisor role, you would not necessarily want to give them the ability to create, delete, or edit roles because then they would be able to come in and create their own role for themselves. So in this case, we are going to say that they can only view the users. Once you have what you uh, believe is necessary for this particular role you're creating, you just click on Create Role. And you can see that you'll have a notification at the top of the page saying that the role was created and it will now appear here. The important thing to note here is that if you've made a mistake, all is not lost. You can simply highlight this role and then under Role Actions, you'll be able to go in and edit it. This allows you to add or remove permissions as necessary. If you're happy with what you have, you can simply cancel. You also have the option as a full administrator to delete the role as well. Or you can just view it to see what the responsibilities are that are available for that role. And basically, that's all there is to creating and managing roles in Voice Console or Voice Link. Oh.